One man's medical emergency reveals a mysterious woman. The Wynn family in Texas was already dealing with a family tragedy when one of its own faced a medical emergency on the freeway. Caught up in the panic, no one in this tight-knit group expected that an unknown woman at the scene of the crash would actually be the root cause of the family's emotional moment. Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. Residing in Texas, the Wynn family were a loving bunch. Their tight-knit bond made them each other's best friends, and this proved beneficial as they were battling through some seriously hard times. See, the family matriarch, Joy Wynn, mother of four and wife of Alan Wynn, had been diagnosed with breast cancer at 43 years old. The family needed all the love they could get. To move forward, it was either fight with everything they had or lose mom for good. And losing wasn't an option, so Joy went through chemo, radiation, and a mastectomy. All these necessary medical expenses started to pile up, and the financial hardships they faced weighed heavily on Alan. Still, he supported Joy the best way he knew how, through his faith. After years of treatment, surgeries, and a slow recovery, the winds received the news they'd been waiting for. The cancer was gone from Joy's body, and they could finally move on with their lives. Unfortunately, the celebration was short-lived. Tragically, while still drowning under piles of medical bills, Alan lost his job. Their main source of income went up in smoke. How could the winds pay back the debt, let alone get back on their feet? Alan sought out work for over a year, applying to job after job. Resumes went unnoticed. Interviews went nowhere. Finally, though, his prayers were answered. He landed a job. But before he started work, one June afternoon, Alan was running errands while driving along the President George Bush Turnpike. All of a sudden, he felt a pain in his chest, which caused him to lose control of his vehicle. His car swerved in and out of the painted lanes as he tried to gain control. In a daze, Alan managed to guide the car off the busy highway, rolling to a stop on a shoulder. Traveling alongside Alan, a woman witnessed his erratic driving. Rather than steering clear of harm's way, something in her gut told her that she needed to pull over and assess the situation. Upon approaching the car, the woman saw no movement coming from the driver's seat. Alan was unconscious and slumped over the steering wheel. Shocked, she immediately called emergency services. The Good Samaritan waited five minutes for the EMTs to arrive as she tried to bring Alan back to consciousness. If they didn't arrive soon, he'd die. Indeed, the newly employed father had a massive heart attack caused by a 100% blocked coronary artery on his left side, a condition that was usually lethal. Paramedics pulled Alan off the steering wheel and onto the ground. They began to perform CPR in an attempt to restart his heart and save his life. The EMTs were able to successfully get his heart to beat once more, but because he still needed prompt medical attention, they rushed him to the nearest hospital, leaving the heroic woman behind. Well, in the ICU, Alan finally came through, surrounded by his family. His memory was blank. I don't remember anything that happened, he said. I mean, it's just kind of a blur. However, one key memory stood out. It was then that Joy and Alan learned of the Good Samaritan, who had stopped and bravely, yet calmly, contacted the emergency services that saved Alan's life. Joy and Alan were determined to find her. Alan's children then contacted the police in an effort to obtain the woman's name, but officers weren't able to disclose her personal information. Unwilling to give up, they turned to social media in an attempt to track her down. The Facebook post requesting information on this mystery woman went viral. In no time at all, Joy had the name and number of an Amy Rodriguez, a wife and mother herself, who deserved more thanks than the winds could give. It turns out that Amy had been wondering about the man in the vehicle that day. So, after a phone call, Amy was at the hospital and embracing the winds, completely ecstatic that Alan was on the road to recovery. In the following days, the winds also tracked down the police, fire service, and EMTs that played a part in resuscitating Alan. If it weren't for Amy's actions, who knows what would have happened? Alan said, she's an angel, an angel that saved my life. Medical professionals use this time to urge people to look out for certain signs of deteriorating health. To prevent situations like the Wynn family's, doctors suggest to stay on top of your health. 
it's important to pay attention to signs our bodies give to indicate that something isn't quite right. These subtle signals your body sends, if properly recognized, could end up saving your life. Don't forget to subscribe for more inspirational stories.